One Piece. Hello, everybody. Wow. Thurman, I want to start by just kind of getting some hype from you because uh, last I checked, your favorite character of all time was Trafalgar D. Waterlaw. Yes, sir. So we got a bit. Let's start with the law shit. That shit surprised me. That felt Will like a D, massive dog, tone shift. Will of D. <laughs> I'm. You. I'm kind of yeah. shocked. Proof that law is not gonna fucking. Die. Yeah, I'll, I'll be you honest with you. I'm taking. I'm rescinding. Now I. Now here's the thing though. I still think he's gonna die. I just don't think he's definitely not dying soon. Like this gives him like an. Because remember, we had talked about this. Law's whole thing was that it felt like his character arc was coming to an end, right? He didn't really have a goal driving him forward anymore. After Doflamingo was dead, it felt like he was just kind of here, just around. You know what I mean? But now that beat, this is beat. kind of – it seems to me like Oda is giving Law a new goal, which is really cool. And it's basically just to understand what Corazon told him. Like, and, and that makes total sense. And I absolutely adore this fucking flashback. I can't tell if this is them at Wano or this is them at Zoe. But, the, like, I love the, them chilling at their downtime talking with Nico Robin because it makes sense, you know? Like, like Nico Robin's, like, the one member of the Straw Hats that I feel like Law would fuck with. Like, like really – like, like on a personality basis. Like, Jesus Christ, uh, give me the – normal person on your crew so i can talk to someone oh thank god <laughs> hello hold on one second hold oh, on one second. sorry my mom is here and she wanted to make up my bed right now i'm just like hold on let me finish <laughs> make your own bed bro what the fuck are you eight <laughs> uh see when you have a mom who like you know <laughs> wants to do stuff for you Nah, I'm, sh I'm shaming you, bro. Make your own bed. <laughs> you, can make, you can shame me if you want. <laughs> Both of you two, do you say you tell me you listen to your own mom when she says, no, I'm doing this for you? She's My mom would never forcibly make my... She would offer, maybe, but I'd I, I was I'd be like, no, I got it, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> bro, different than mom's dog. Anyway, sorry about that. My mom, so, superior. <laughs> that's crazy. Bro, mom fight. Uh, you know, yours will win, yours will win. <laughs> I, uh, hell hath no fury like a black mom is what I'm hearing. Yes. All right. Good to know. So um, now, but did yeah, you hear what I said about I, law though? Like, I love, I just love this whole thing, right? The fact that law at some point just had like a chill conversation with Robin. I love that. Like little moments like that are so good. Mm-hmm. Ooh, so because it, it, it's great because. More shipping, law. See, bro, people thought it was crazy. Law? law? No, Robin. don't tell me you're shipping, man. What? <laughs> Wait a minute, I no. thought we were fully on the Robin Frankie train. Bro, no, because it's funny. It's funny. <laughs> because back a long time ago, I used to be like on that Robin Law train, and everyone gave me shit for it. <laughs> That's funny. I <laughs> that's a that's a shit I don't regret at all. <laughs> no, I mean that's a realistic one for sure. Uh, I mean, but like I don't know. I'm a big believer when it comes to ships. Yeah, so like not hello, not like Frankie Robin. What? Say again. Hello. Okay. You not hear me? <laughs> to finish, but yeah. Okay. Listen, uh, so I no... just I don't know why I can't hear you. <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, no, 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 but I'm saying... Um, Jesus Christ, we need to... Listen, bro, full restart. This has been... What the hell is happening? Can you not hear me? <laughs> I can hear you. Okay, there's been many times where I'm just talking and, like, nothing is... I, like, you're not hearing me. I don't know what's happening. No, that's, that's, that's weird, bro. Because I, I, I was letting you speak, and then, like, it was blank, and then you were like, hello. When I, I stop, like, it's to let you talk. You know this. No, but we talked at the same time, and I was just like, oh, hold on, I'll let you finish. But then I was like, oh, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Weird. <laughs> Weird shit, but now I'm just trying to going. say I'm a big believer when it comes to ships of like uh, I don't you don't want to you don't want to date someone who's exactly the same as you you will lose your fucking mind okay and that's why I like about Frank Frankie can bring out the what, what is why are you talking while I'm talking what is happening I'm laughing oh I just can't okay I need to turn you up or something because I can't hear anything I just hear noise in the background and I assume that you're like not hearing me. No, I can hear you. <laughs> it's funny because it's just like you think Robin and Law are exactly the same. <laughs> nah, they're really quite funny. a bit the same. You don't think so? In terms of like, <laughs> that is that is actually so. Funny. I've never because it, it's more it's more me like doing like a like a relief laugh because like bro, I was I like I got bullied hella hard for liking Law and Robin. Bro. I was just. <laughs> <laughs> 
they don't, they never talked and they're they're not the same it's the old robin's best interesting ship. no that's dumb uh no and i what i mean by that is like the same in temperament they're they're not they're the least silly characters in their respective you know like crews you know what i'm saying like they're both yeah. very serious people like you know you, you we all know people like law and or robin right the type of people that like they're just they don't have like when they're talking their emotions aren't going up and down like you like you know i know friends that'll go like woo spontaneous to chill whereas like and then you know friends that are just always chill you can try to get a reaction out of them and they'll be like what you know what I mean? like like think critical like moist critical on youtube yeah like that that motherfucker is like trafalgar law <laughs> or robin right he's got one fucking emotion one vo- vocal tone so that's what i mean right i feel like that'd be a boring ship they'd probably like they definitely get along because but they'd be the the couple that's like that they would just sit in the library together and read and and like that'd be their date they wouldn't fucking they'd speak to each other occasionally be like hey yeah that's (laughs) (laughs) whereas what i like about frankie robin is that i feel like frankie brings out like would bring out the like more fun element of robin's personality that like takes a little bit of effort to get out and then i feel like robin would calm Frankie down when he's getting a little too super. <laughs> oh yeah, it's that Frankie, nice I, balancing element. Yeah, I like the Frankie Robin ship. I, I just, I just put this. I, I just remember this Robin's law. It, it, just, it, it's been a minute since um, people have. Because uh, I'm, I'm always used to people being like, "Oh, that ship's fucking brat," but like, wow, it's crazy. <laughs> I'm happy about that. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Um, but what do you think? I guess what's your as a law fan, as a law fan, what's your like, you know, big take on like this big moment from law here? Like it really surprised me to see. I'm cu- I'm really curious because now I'm really wanting to see where it goes from here. Now we know that law is here to stay. Fuck all you haters. Does that mean that? Like I feel like this could be I tragic as fuck. Where he's like, "Oh, I want to find." Like, what? What if he gets like a glimpse? Like, like he gets a little hint of like the voice. Like he's about to find out, and then, uh, and then it's like we have to find out for law. <laughs> I hate it so much. I hate it so much. Stop. Stop it. <laughs> Stop. Your law hate you, heathen. <laughs> Leave him alone. What has he done to you? <laughs> you freak. <laughs> Story writing. It's just story writing. I need it. I need a death. I need a big death. And who the fuck else could it be that would be satisfying? What is happening? Why are you quiet? Yeah, so. Where the fuck do you keep going? I will. (laughs) God, I wish you lived closer. I'd come over and fucking fist you. No, oh, but no, my family came in again. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, it's that story writing. Fuck you, law. Bruh, bro, I, I would be okay with almost any other character die. Right? Like, like, okay, so here, here's, here's the thing, right? Like, so Nami, keep her alive. She's not dying. Fuck no me. straw hat is dying. Leave my Nami. No, no, no. I'm going to finish. You brought the you brought the dragon out of me. You're going you're gonna <laughs> to breathe the fire now. All right, all right. Nami, staying alive. Keep her alive. Zoro, keep that motherfucker alive. I need Obviously. Him. Sanji, keep him alive. Right. Frankie, he's alive. Keep him alive. Yep. Chopper? Don't you fucking... You leave Chopper alone, you motherfucker. His dream is to become like an all-cure doctor. You fucking... You... Why do people fucking are, are? Why is the hatred of Chopper? Am I the only one that loves I don't cute characters? Yeah, but I don't, you don't like Chopper either. I didn't say that. Holy shit, I didn't say that. You I just motherfucking this mother. No, I sense the I, king of lightning Chopper, coming out of you. See, no, no, Chopper, right, is one of my favorites because he see he, well, only thing pisses me off that people consider him one of the one of the weak the weak trio. It's bullshit because yeah, yeah he, no, he he, he, he fucking wanted, stormed he, in Water Seven. I know exactly where you're going. With he, it. Bro, that's what I'm saying. Chopper was one of the. With, with, He's with one of the, the fucking boys. He was with the monster trio to fuck Frankie's house up. Uh, like, bro, I, I've never seen a bigger downgrade from Oda than that. Like, how do you have this man go from rocking all badass with the monster trio, fucking them, Frankie's house up? One of the most famous moments in One Piece. Going in in his lobby, one shotting. Well, okay, that wasn't his lobby. The, the that was uh, guy. Water Seven, but yeah. Yeah, beating the beating the caribou, not caribou, uh, the the samurai guy who won the 
who wanted to fucking kill oh, himself. Oh, that was Andy Zombie. I apologize. Yes, yeah, no, he fucking, but he rocked bro, it. Like, bro, you have him. You hype him up as one of the big four, but yet you have him as the weak trio with Nami and Usopp. That pisses me off. Well, I don't know. I feel sense. like, I feel that like thing. he, how to put it, when it comes to power scaling, I think he is on the weaker side. I I, I always took the um the moment where he's going in with, with, with the boys for the Usopp stuff was because he, Chopper is incredibly close to Usopp. When it comes to the crew members that are close to Usopp, like very close, it's Nami. Luffy and Chopper. Those are the ones that are the closest to Usopp, you know, friend wise. Uh, that's why I, I took Chopper going it. Like that's why Chopper was going with them there. Um, and then of course, when it comes to the power scaling of the CP9 members, I feel like wasn't Kumadori more towards the weaker side. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, I don't think he was ever meant to be like part of the monster trio or even close to them. <laughs> Bro, that's that's. So, I love so. Chopper, but loving a character is not been vin- vin- in. What's the word? Loving a character is not like all about how powerful they are. That's some, like, DBZ tard level thinking. And I know that's not what you're saying, but, like, you know, it's just, it's not, it's not important to me. I like him because he fulfills mm, a really, God. really good, he, he fulfills a great role in the crew. Like, like, doctor shit is so important. You know what I mean? Like, and and speaking of that, we, we see Chopper in this chapter, and he's, like, half ice oni. so I'm very curious where this is going to go. <sighs> anyway, anyway, back to my other rant. Okay, so Chopper is sta- staying alive. Yeah, right. for sure. Uh, Robin, Robin, um, hmm. no, she has Robin, to fucking see the voice. They literally not. need her to read the final poneglyph. Oh, that's true. Okay, so listen, she, there's only she, she one straw hat. There's a single straw hat that would that Who's is okay. That? Yeah, exactly. He's the single straw hat, but like it's got to be good, and I, and he's got to see Elbath first. If he's dying, oh, I'm sorry. If he's dying, it's got to be an Elbath. Period. <laughs> if okay, so Jinbei gets an arc. Yeah, yo, yeah. Jinbei actually straight up might die. Like, like I do see that one is possible. I give him an arc that he dies. No, he, no, 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 no. He, 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 no. he can have an arc and then he dies. No, okay. I think Jinbei is gonna be but, the. I think Jinbei is gonna be like the candy that like Oda makes you think. Like, imagine how heartbreaking. Like, yeah, Jinbei's joined, but and then dies immediately. Like, bro, that'd be so good. Oh. He's he's it, it, so something similar to JoJo. Part part uh, part five, uh, Briachi, Abriachi. Yes, uh, he was he was dead, but he was he was yeah still dead. yes yes because let's be honest, sus as fuck that he got away from Big Mom last arc, right? Mm-hmm. So and and we know what Big Mom does when Big Mom catches people, she has them spin the wheel. You know what I'm saying? And the yeah. wheel is like how much years of my your life are we gonna take out? Right? Jimbei could be like on his like last legs right now. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying, <clears throat> like he's just hanging on for dear life, oh, and he's how, trying to how just help them. Live in JoJo like ten days, right? Twenty like a week. How long did like, Butcherati live? Yeah. Uh, I I don't really know what the time frame was, but it was definitely less than a month. Yeah. So. Either way, yeah. I think that'd be great. So yeah, if if not Law, that we because we need a big name dev for sure. I don't think the samurai count because like. I don't know. I'm not like super attached to the samurai. They're all right, but like, eh, you know what I mean. <laughs> I love. By the way, I know we're off topic tangent. I don't care. I love that's fucking... one. B. As long as uh, we're not talking about the fucking toxic fandom. <laughs> and the toxic fandom. Is, oh, your chance on man's fandom is fucking shit. Yeah. Later. <laughs> later. Later. The whole separate video. But no. Yeah. This. Bro. This is. Uh, this is acceptable off topic. Oh, sorry, I am definitely gonna be. I'm, I'm just waiting for our fans to just try to vote me off the channel. Just like, oh, I don't think I should work with this man anymore. He's clearly not helping you guys grow the channel. If you guys don't remove him from the channel, I'm up subscribing. Do you think that would mean anything to us? Anyway. <laughs> See, loyalty. Get you, yeah. get you guys friends who will lose subscribers for you. Great. <laughs> I want that on a shirt. <laughs> now, how many is now, how many subscribers do you know? Like, if you no, bro, like bro, a thousand this channel, subscribers, I'm at, point now, bro, this channel I'm at the point now, bro. This channel, I'm at the point now, bro. This channel is just a hobby to me. If it fucking, if if it got deleted tomorrow, I'd be sad, but I'd be like, whatever, we'll start a new one. You know what I mean? Ooh, there you go. Post times get red. 
dead. Oh God yeah. Damn. It's buried. Yeah. Trust me. Because I, I realize life isn't like this. Isn't what's gonna make me happy. Like I mean, this makes me happy because it's something to do. But like the number. Once you get. Once you. I remember obsessively watching the subscriber count and the comments and responding to everything. Now I'm just. I'm way more focused on like building relationships and fucking like trying to do my hobbies more and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Also, like the fans that Ooh, matter, God. like the community, the, like 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 J- you know Jacob Steel Ram Luke, everyone else I'm not gonna mention. You know, yeah, sorry, those are the two that come to my head all the time. But I love all of you. Um, fine, I know is one of. I'm just trying to think of all the names now. These are people that like. Let's say we deleted this channel, which we won't. But let's say we did. Uh, they we would they would follow us to wherever we went. And the fact that we have that, even like ten people, fifty people, let's say max. That that's literally all i need that's phenomenal i love that um so yeah i'm not worried that's that's my deep talk of the day stop it stop worrying that you're gonna your friends are gonna betray you i know it's a weird fucking interrational fear you always have <laughs> let's talk about one piece <clears throat> hey you know luffy um his friends would never betray you know not, yeah not dude, anyway. no we saw it with nami what are you fucking saying <laughs> anyway shut up off topic i, I just want to finish off this law part by saying a Yes, reiterating, I agree with you that this definitely delays his death or cancels it completely. Um, uh, it's because you're giving Law a goal here, so that's really interesting. B, uh, I love seeing Cor- the Corazon stuff again, and you even see the panel where he's you know walking through the snow crying about his death. So that's awesome, seeing just like, so much Law focus for a, since you know for a, uh, for the first time in a long time. Really, really cool stuff. Um, what are you going to talk about next? How about so, we talk about, about Oda? Oda, just the madman that he is, just had, had a little panel of, of kind of just bopping. Yeah, all of them. let's and talk the, about and, that. And the madman, cut away from it. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> there is fucking like, nothing. Was, there is was, nothing was, Oda will not off screen. He was like, meanwhile, <laughs> Kaido's decided to kill everyone now. <laughs> and now we're, let's go back to... <laughs> Let's go back to some other people. <laughs> Literally, this is yeah, no, nothing, zero that he will not off screen. This this would be like I'm trying to think of a good example. Like imagine fucking like the final Eisen fight in Bleach being completely off screen. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Now, obviously, you know Luffy fighting him, kid fighting. Him, that's probably going to be fully shown. I think Oda knows. Like yeah, okay, we have moderate interest in the samurai, but like. Yeah, whatever. But I, I do love these little panels we get, though, right? He bops Ke- Kenny Enmon hard, and then you have um, Denjiro stabbing him in the side, then he bops him. It's just, it's so visceral. Like, these motherfuckers are getting bopped. And it's just one page. It's so weird. Um, yeah, that's, that's fucking, it's getting crazy up there, honestly. Uh, I also want to talk about Yamato has a fucking devil fruit. Yeah, I called that shit. I mean,. I'm not, you get zero props for me. That's obvious. Like obviously, of course she's gonna have a fucking devil. <laughs> so, I, bro, I wanna, does she have a dragon, bro? Is she what type of devil? Bro? It's hard to tell. I mean, we just see sharp teeth. You know, she, like, let me look at her teeth again. I don't know. I you know. I mean, I, obviously the uh, fucking pattern seems to be like dinosaur shit. Um, uh, but I imagine being Kaido's son, it will probably be something more mythical. Um, the theory, I know Jacob, Steel Ram, wants it very badly to be a saber-toothed tiger, which I think oh, would be... Oh, because f- the dragon and, ti- and uh, tiger... Yeah, uh, and also just those. that'd be a cool okay. aesthetic, right? Like, I just think that'd be kind of fucking sick, because it'd, it'd be an ancient zone then. Saber-toothed tiger, bruh. That that would just be fucking cool. I, I'm kind of down for that, and it would break up, because we got a fuck ton of dinosaurs. I think a saber tooth tiger. One, I want to see that shit. Two, I want to see the hybrid of that shit. Uh, saber tooth tiger with big old Mongola Honga Donga Bazongaroos. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. <coughs> so mm. I I'm down with that theory for sure. Either that or a uh, different. I mean, Bro. there's many. There's a bunch of dragons that can be a dragon too. But, but yeah, I'd rather it be a, a tiger. Go ahead. I'm gonna be honest. So this this uh this panel right here, uh, when he's like surprised, is that because he's surprised at um the numbers coming, or because he he saw that Yamato was about to get serious? Which I think you... it's because Yamato, because that was you, you if you, you you have to look at the order when you're reading manga, you need to look at the order, right? So what comes first? His eye, his surprised eye comes first, then the panel of the number laughing comes. You see how the order goes? Okay, because you're reading I, from right to left, 
You know yeah, what I'm saying? I was like, because I saw the the sword at the sword switch. Then he's like Sasaki, huff huff, grr. Oof. Mm. Yeah. So he's reacting to that. Yes, and I think he's realizing, oh my god, this is the son of Kaido <clears throat> going into this form of that probably he probably doesn't even know that of what or maybe he does maybe that's like common knowledge like oh fuck it's the it's uh, young master's blank form you know what i mean clearly he was like shit this ain't gonna be easy you know yeah because clearly yamato's weakened because he's trying to protect uh um uh both uh Vin- shinobu Vin- and momo yeah oh shinobu yeah obviously let her die to be honest let her die come she on it stop being like she's let her- She's fine. Yeah, nah, really? But, would you, would you would you be that in the, in real life? So you, you have a disagreement with someone, and it's like fuck you, you die. <laughs> See, I have to throw that in my face, dog. That's not fair. You have, you have to throw my in real life compass with my fictional compass. That's not. Listen, that's not if it's if it's uh you know conservatives, fine. But like you know, you have an argument with them. <laughs> <laughs> See if I was a uh, you know uh, a yandere then it's fine. But, yeah. <laughs> um, so bro, yeah, no, no, I also want to say, so happy I, to say, bro, we finally. Sorry, go ahead. Go no, ahead. I was just gonna say I, I'm pretty hyped about Sasuke because it is implied that him and who's who are like the most powerful of the Toby Robo. and I like this line where he's just like like to, I mean to Kaido's son, it's a flex to say like hey you know I take it as an insult that you think that. You can defeat me while while you're distracted. Fuck that shit. Like this is going to be a challenge. Don't think it's not going to be. So that's interesting. Um, also, she's just bashing through these fucking steel shields. I love that she has this thing where she's literally just swinging her club so fast it's like air bullets. And you see this when the number comes, breaks the hole through the the the, the floor. She's like, let me just take this guy out real quick. Swings a bat of air and takes him out with an air blast. That is a fucking power. The put that shit on the respect thread. And last thing I'll say, and I'll lead this to you because this is something you've talked about before. We're getting fucking Yamato interacting with the Straw Hats, baby. Yes, finally, and it makes sense because those two are technically one of the oldest of the crew, besides Robin. Bruh. what are you talking about? Isn't Rob? Isn't no, no, no? I'm sorry. Well, I'm, I'm Frankie pretty, is pretty, actually pretty. one of the newest of the crew. <laughs> no, I'm talking about in age wise. What? Oh, oldest age. Um, Frankie. Uh, is... I, know, I know Brooke. I know Brooke is the oldest, but then I think isn't Robin the second oldest? Well, I'm not counting Jinbei. Well, I, why are you mentioning Robin? She's not anywhere near Yamato. No, but I'm saying. Uh, okay, let me. What were you back. talking about? I'm talking about Yamato interacting with the Strats. No, I know. I, I understand. Okay, so just, 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 just con- Listen, if you're talking like a fucking idiot. It's not my fault. No, 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 no. no. You, you just, you're just, you're too smart. You're dumb. So shush. Let me finish. Okay. Okay. You were saying, I, you were saying, what well, I was gonna say about all oh, the interacting with a straw hat. Finally, with Frankie, I was like, it makes, it makes sense with Frankie because Frankie's also, I don't know if you, I forgot what age Frankie was, but I'll check for you. Because aren't they in close in age? I'll check. Are they the same age group? What Frankie and Yamato? Yeah. So why did um? I, I'm trying to understand no, why. No, because my thought process was like I was going. I thought I was going to say. I thought I heard myself say that Frankie was the oldest, but I was just like, no, that's not true because Ro- isn't Robin technically the oldest besides Brooke? And no. And I'm like, count Jinbei. No, know you Robin- were right. Frankie is older than Robin. Okay, yeah. So Frankie's 36. Robin, I believe, is in the upper 20s. Hold on. Like 28, 29? Uh, I thought she was in her 30s. You might be right. Let me check. I thought I could have sworn. Oh, she's, she, we're both kind of right. So she was 28 pre-time skip, and she's 30 even post-time skip. Oh, okay. Okay. So Frankie's thirty six. So yeah. So I was just like, oh, because you know, they're they're not that close in age, but they're technically like, you know, Yamato young... One Piece, what was her age again? We I know we had it confirmed at some point. Uh, Yamato was Yamato's twenty eight. Twenty eight. So actually Yamato's yeah. closer to Robin's age. Yeah, so but my main my main point was was that like they're of the a mature age. So like it'd be interesting to see them interact. Like, I wouldn't call Frankie mature, <laughs> but uh, it would be interesting to see mature, Robin. He's mature, when it, he's mature when it counts. That's, the, that's, that's the point. true. Yeah, yeah. He can take someone in a back alley and beat the fuck out of them for information. Um, yes. <laughs> oh, Frankie's the the mafia type. I mean, never forget uh, he's got roots in like the you know underworld shit. <laughs> um, so oh, I want to say though, like. I love I, – because this is what we've been – Thurman and I have been talking about this, right? We want to see Yamato interact more with the Straw Hats because we want Yamato to join, 100%, obviously. Now, I love this because obviously Yamato, if I'm remembering correctly, it's been a bit, but because Yamato has 
uh, Odin's journal. And Odin's journal mentions, you know, the, the coming of Joy Boy. And I'm assuming that she thinks that Luffy is that promised person, right? So I imagine she's been doing her research on Luffy. And I imagine she's been looking at the wanted posters for Luffy's crew. You know what I mean? So it makes sense that she would know Frankie as, oh, Frankie the Cyborg. Also, another fun, uh, a cool little moment or a uh, little uh, detail is that if you remember what Frankie's uh, wanted poster looks like, it is him in the Frankie Shogun. So this form that he's in right now. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> yep. Have you seen Frankie's wanted poster in a while? Do you remember what it looks like? Uh, the one where, is he? In, it's is his he current in, one. Go ahead and Google it real quick. Frank, you want to post mech it? Or, I don't think he's in his mech, really. He is? Yeah. Look, Google it right now. Uh, Frankie. His current wanted poster is him in the Iron Frankie. It's his current bounty. The current wanted. You'll see it. You'll see the pre and post. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah. Yeah. So you see his post times get one? Yeah, I see. So that's that was literally what Yamato would know Frankie as is that form. So she probably assumes that that's just what he looks like. <laughs> the cyborg. Frankie. So she's like, ah, oh, yes, Frankie the cyborg, because she knows him from the wanted poster. Because that that uh, Luffy put me in charge. Because it's great. Because I, I, I want to mention. I think you've mentioned this, but I want to bring it back up. I just love the fact that like Yamato's like, oh, before I fall. <laughs> Let's knock him out real quick. That shit is fucking dope. Yeah, not I only is that dope, it. it's also fucking hilarious because it's that anime fucking time logic where, like, as you're falling, you can say all that shit and do that shit. <laughs> I fucking love that shit. Me too. he has, like, his priorities in check. Yamato like, oh, is... Yeah. He's like, I'm falling, but before I go, let me take that one out. Like, ah, oh, I need him in the crew. It's pretty Oda. amazing that Please. the last two it. arcs... Whole Cake and this one have introduced two of my top ten characters in the whole series. Katakuri last arc, Yamato this arc. Like, uh, and I can't I, say that for every arc because, you know, Fishman Island, fine characters, no one that became, like, a favorite. Punk Hazard, same shit. Fine. No one, Kian Moan's like, eh, to me. He's fine, whatever, mid. But then these last two arcs, bro, just banger after banger after banger with these characters, man. Fun oh, fact, yeah. I actually like Pero Sparrow better than Kian Moan. <laughs> As a really? <laughs> Straight up. That's, that's funny. Because I like I, wacky. I, I, what I love about One Piece so much is the wacky out there characters. So a fucking man that can see into the future and fights with mochi and is made with mochi and loves to eat donuts. That is everything I love about One Piece. And then Yamato, love- bro, so out there, man. Like a biological woman who identifies as a man because she wants to be Odin. And Odin was a man. And she's the son of... Kaido and it's just so many things, bro. Ah, I, I, I love it. I love that about One Piece characters. <laughs> I need it, dog. It, it it needs to happen. Me too. Um. Okay. So yeah, that was a great interaction, and I love e- even um. I'm, I'm trying to find it here. Frankie's like, who is this person? <laughs> and then I like he really does just accept it. Uh, because Yamato's just like, uh, hey, Frankie the Cyborg. Luffy put me in charge of these two, and he's like, oh, okay. I I guess I'll, that makes sense. <laughs> Cause it's so funny to me too because he he's used to Luffy just fucking making yeah. rash decisions. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> he's used to Luffy making friends with weird people. So he's just like, oh, okay, yeah, that's, that's, that's acceptable. That he's sense. like, you know what? That's something something to do. That makes sense. All he all he needed to hear was Luffy put me in charge of these two. He's like, ah, I see. Okay, no problem. <laughs> what a fucking! Message. I love Luffy's crew so much, man. They're so on top of this shit. They're like, oh yeah, it makes sense. Let's go. I got this. I super got this. <laughs> Oh my god, that's actually so funny. Well, I that love means it. what we're setting up here, uh, presumably, is a Sasaki Frankie fight. Now, <laughs> and by of course, by fight, I mean a couple panels here and there, and then off screen. Um, we'll see. I don't know. It's really getting frustrating. Oda keeps blue balls in me, setting up what I assume is going to be full fights, and then they're not. I just I don't know what to expect anymore. It's just like what the fuck. Ugh. I don't know. So one thing I do want to mention too is I like that Oda is giving us a map again of where yeah. everyone's at. So Law's at the bottom six, bottom left. He's yeah, where, where they're, they're hiding their fucking poneglyphs, and he's looking for the one of the you know the red one, which is the important one. They need a rubbing of that to get to Raft Tail. Yeah, and then let me see where uh, everyone because well, so Kid sure is actually. You know what's actually. funny? Kid's group is a, is ahead and above of Lu- of Luffy's group. Because Luffy's, oh, yeah. uh, Luffy's on the second floor. Kid is on the third floor. And I find that very interesting. I don't know how the fuck he got ahead. Well, I guess I kind of do. Luffy gets distracted. 
<laughs> That's funny. <laughs> so, but, but can we talk about what Kid's doing? He's literally just Kata- have you ever played Katamari Damacy, Thurman? Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, Kid but... is literally Katamari Damasiing right now. He's just as he's running through all of these floors, he's collecting everything metal. And he's just, he's literally, his fucking, his plan is, I'm just going to get the biggest fucking ball of metal and then huck it at Kaido when I get up there. <laughs> <laughs> That's, he's smart. Does, does, does Kid have his awakening yet? I don't know. I, I mean, it's that nothing's been confirmed. If, if he does, what do you think his awakening is going to be? Because, you know, we know, his, we know awakening, usually... basically it changes the, it changes the, uh, the area around, like, I forgot the, the word. Uh, usually, like, it helps you affect things that you couldn't normally affect. Yeah, um... so, so, like, if his, if his Delphi is magnetism, like. Since he's not like, creating a thing, like, I don't, the only thing I can think of is, like. See that that one's a harder one because with Luffy, it may, you can think immediately like, okay, Luffy, it would be to turn other things into rubber. It's just like Katakuri's is to turn other things into mochi, and Doflamingo is to turn more things into string. But we've not seen an awakening of like a power like this because his power is magnetism, right? So how do you you can't turn things into magnetism, and it wouldn't be turning things into metal because it's not a metal metal fruit. So I don't know. I mean, that's something that we're gonna have to see from Oda. I, I really don't have any. Because yeah, honestly, one thing I will find lackluster about One Piece is that we don't really know much about awakening. Like he 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 brought it up. I assume we're, we're gonna much. learn more soon. I mean, yeah, it would be horseshit if we fucking end the series with like just occasional references to it. Yeah. Yeah, because that's the one thing that doesn't make sense. Because remember last arc, we thought that Luke was going to get his awakening, but in fact, he was just training his hockey. I still think he's going to. I, yeah, I, yeah. yeah. So it'd be, I'd well, be we shocked. got five years of this series left, at least. And you know how old okay, it is. Okay, he says five years. He means like seven. Because so, do you think that um everyone in the Straw Hats who have a Devil Fruit besides like obviously besides Brooke, like everyone will not it, get it. Was There's it no stated, way in hell. Like, does it state? Is it is it stated like only certain few Devil Fruits to get awakenings? No, like, no, only, no. If, I, my my understanding of it is every every Devil Fruit can, but it's like very rare. Like like it's hard to get it. Okay, yeah, because I know. Cause I, so I know the zone. We know. I mean, it's practically point? confirmed at this point that Chopper's monster point it was him forcing his awakening through drugs. Oh, really? <laughs> you didn't know that? No. Really? No, I, I didn't. Because I, I, I just assumed it was, a, it was like a part of his training. I didn't really think it was actually an awakening. Well, you know what? Do you remember how the rumble balls work? Or do I have to do I have to explain this to you? Boy. Okay. Uh, so, the yeah, because I, it's been a minute. Go ahead. Do you think? Okay. The rumble balls was him. So, okay. A zone, a zone devil fruit. When you eat it, you get three forms. You have your normal form that you were originally. You have your human form. Or I'm sorry, not human. Excuse me. Let's say you're human, right? Let's say you're human and you eat a zone devil fruit. You you have your three forms. Human form, the animal, and hybrid. So let's say you, you got the giraffe fruit, okay? You can be a human. You can be a giraffe. You can be a hybrid between human and giraffe. Chopper theorized, okay, if there are three forms, normal, hybrid, animal, I theoretically, through medical science, should be able to tweak however this fruit works to find forms in between that. Because think about it. If if there's a hybrid, that means that it's like it's choosing for you the perfect hybrid between giraffe and human, right? You remember that like uh, Kaku's hybrid form? Yeah. So imagine for – so what, what Chopper was doing with his drugs was he was saying, okay – I can tap into the fruit using this drug and say, all right, leg point. So instead of like the normal hybrid, how it would be, I'm going to push all the mass to the legs, uh, horn point, push all the mass to the horn. So basically he was just using those drugs to give himself more forms than he should have had. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Which I love, right? That makes a lot of sense. So when he overdosed on those drugs, it became that big form. And then later in Impel Down, I don't know if you remember this, it's a very, it's just kind of like a stated thing. It's very chill, barely ever mentioned. Uh, the first time we ever hear about Awakenings was not Doflamingo. It was, it was an Impel Down and Crocodile mentioned it. Do you remember this? Yeah, I, I know. Yeah, I know. So Crocodile, they were being chased by the animal guards in Impel Down. And they were these big fucking lumbering, like, animal dudes. They were all zone fruit users. And Crocodile was like, those are awakened zones. And okay. they looked remarkably like what Chopper's monster point form looked like. So I, it's to me, that's basically – that's a headcanon that I consider practically confirmed is that through drugs, he he basically forcibly – like without doing like the normal training, he like drugged his awakened form out basically. <laughs> My man, the true a true man of science, testing things out through drugs. Exactly. Now, so – yeah, I've heard a lot of theories about what different awakenings could be. I don't expect everyone to get it. Um, 
I just think it's going to be a way for uh, Oda to give, make Luffy's repertoire like fucking huge by the end of the series, essentially. Yeah, give him give him much as he needs, you know. Yeah. Um. So I, I don't know. I'm looking forward to it though. I think it'd be really fucking neat. Um. I I hope we learn more about it. I mean, keep in mind, there's something that we still are going to see eventually, and it's going to be whenever Vegapunk shows up. We Oda has confirmed through SBS that Vegapunk's going to show up and explain like everything about how Devil Fruits work. Ooh, I can't wait. That's ch- chapter one thousand. <laughs> that'd be a little. It'd be hard to fucking shoehorn in now i i almost see that as more of a between wano and the next arc thing you know what mm-hmm. i'm saying yeah because here's the thing we have a lot of like things to to come up right we, we know they've been mentioning vegapunk a lot uh green bull and um fujitora were talking about vegapunk making the ssg the science division and making like a weapon that would ma- make it so they didn't need the warlords anymore remember yeah and then um we also have uh, Orochi mentioning that he wanted CP0 to bring him Vegapunk. So they keep teasing Vegapunk. I think he's going to show up after this arc, personally. Yeah, that makes sense. It makes sense. You never know. Oda likes to do that. True. I just think there's so much going on right now. I think he should wait until yeah, uh, mid. He yeah. wants to focus. He should focus on one thing at a time. Yeah, I agree. I definitely agree. But yeah, either way, it's going to be exciting. Um, so yeah, uh, we have Kid, at, you know, and I also love... You know, just just the, taking the time to have. I always love killers fighting style. Just the spinny blades and like flipping around. That's cool. That was cool to see. Um, let's talk about uh, <laughs> Usopp. <laughs> just straight up concussed. This man, and, like, and and I love Usopp and Nami's dynamic. I like. You ever read a, a line and you can just hear it in the voice actor's voice? It's so good. Yeah. So like, it's the part where. Um, Usopp, are you alright? And he's like, Ugh. and then she's she understands it. She's like, no, of course you're not alright. But let's focus on the positive. I'm fine. <laughs> Such a Nami line. It's perfect. I've just been watching Alabasta with Deanna, and that is just that's peak Nami right there. <laughs> that's just hilarious. So I love okay, so one thing we can't Tama over here bro Tama, Tama right? is that surprisingly meme. taking charge bro that meme dog is coming to fruition yeah, that meme is coming to fruition dog <laughs> do not belittle his power we came here as samurai bro <laughs> she's got a monkey fighting page one right now and I love Ulti is just standing there she's doing that thing where she's talking fancy to sound cool like wherever in the world did you come from Pei Pei kill this monkey <laughs> that's wild <laughs> Otama really is, really is the uh, true main villain of this arc. Oh, dude, I mean, she's got the rosy cheeks for it. She's so cute. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm, it's still weird to me that she's here. I, I don't know what the fuck that's all about. That's strange. That's sus as fuck. <laughs> um, and now, and it's funny too. I mean, it just shows you the power of Ace, bro. Like, remember, Ace, the, re- the reason that she's so fucking, like, all about this whole, like, we have honor and shit is that Ace basically... Ace, in fact, kind of pulled a Shanks, you know, like what Shanks did to Luffy. Ace came in and was like, hey, you better be a kick-ass Kunoichi when I come back, and then we'll take you on our crew, right? So she's she's all about, like, being a Kunoichi, you know, uh, for Ace. So that, that I imagine that that's where this attitude comes from. She's probably been, like, prepping for that her whole life. Yeah, I'm assuming a spinoff series, you know? <laughs> no. No. Oda already said <laughs> no. Call Otama. <laughs> Oh, let's see. Anything else here to talk about? Um, so, the Sanji shit at the end. Oh, actually, no. Before the Sanji, Big Mom, right? I love this. Big Mom's just swooping over the Ice Oni place, and she's like, guys, fucking, I have no interest in your bullshit, okay? Uh, carry on. <laughs> so, Big Mom's going up to where Kaido is, which means the samurai are just fucked. All right, man. Yeah, can I, bro, you literally, bro. I gave you so much time. I, I assume no, your family is back in. He said, he said, just fucked. And then you were like, Thurman, <laughs> immediately after that, I didn't get a chance to think. Right, but, said, but the, 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 that, but, wait, 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 but the second thing I, that sentence I said was to buy time. I had already given you a, a, a period of time and you didn't talk, so I assumed you were gone. I was like, okay, I gotta keep no. talking again. <laughs> I'm, still, yeah. I'm still here, but no, so, <laughs> I'm, I'm. There's, there has to be a reason why Big Mom wants to go up there, because because clearly, like you said, she has a plan. Yeah. And so she's literally like she's literally 
But like, because Big Mom is a, a very grudge holding person. We we know this from day one. Yeah. So it, it would shock me, like when they were like, "Oh my God, Big Mom's back!" Like you know for a fact, she'd be like, "Oh, you're the one who fucking flipped me over there. I'm gonna kill you." But she's like, "No, I have my priorities." Yeah, so she goes like, right oh, past oh. Robin, which is uh one of the people that you know exactly. So like, what what I'm thinking so is, I, is she trying crazy. to get like like wait for a moment until Kaido is like weakened by all these enemies, and then just go in there and fucking long live the king. Hmm. Is that possible? I'm here. I mean, I'm she's here. here. She could like literally, if, if Kaido dies, and she like like if Kaido's weakened as fuck, she comes in there and fucking does the anime shit where she like puts her hand through his chest, you know, what I mean? and then like like Kaido's just dead. Then she can go get his road poneglyph, and then she's basically like on her way to Raftel. Yeah. Now, there's the one more road poneglyph she'd have to get to, but yeah, right. See, yeah, it's interesting. I really am curious why, because she's up to where Kaido is. I'm assuming that's where she's probably thinking Luke is going to be. But at the same time, it's just like she that's clearly has a plan. she clearly she clearly has a plan. So I want to know what that plan really is. Because yeah, it feels kind of you can read it both ways, him. right? Either she's straight up just fully focused on getting revenge on Luffy, but I have a feeling she's trying to. I think she's just playing her cards because that's what I, I'm just telling you. That's what I would do if I was Big Mom. I'd be like, okay, I'll join your your alliance, but I'm going to be looking. Uh, you know, there's a quote from Bleach with Hollow Ichigo, who is like Ichigo's like inner demon thing. Because you know, every anime has to have that shit. Surprisingly, not uh, One Piece, and I appreciate that. That the main character doesn't have some inner demon bullshit. <laughs> it's over fucking like played. Though. What? I do like that. I, I like that. I know it's overplayed, but I do. Listen, like that. I love the trope too, but it's one of those tropes that's in almost everything you know what i mean like naruto bleach jujutsu kaisen black clover need i go on a black clover and jujutsu well i mean technically listen you you're you're clover. defending it for no reason i'm i'm telling you uh, it's just it, the, <laughs> you know, there's no reason to def- because i'm not i'm not making fun of the trope itself i'm just saying it's in almost everything the trope is good it's just literally overdone uh, yeah that's true that's true that's I, I can't deny that I can't, uh, no, you're right. I can't deny that. Thank you, thank you. Um, <laughs> it's just a little too much. Uh, even, oh, bro, even Fire Force. Even fucking Fire Force. It, uh, <laughs> God damn, it's in everything. Um, so, respect to One Piece and respect to Hunter x Hunter for not fucking doing that. Um, uh, gone, though. Inner Demon. Get the fuck out of here. I'm talking about a literal <laughs> a literal separate entity inside of him. That was Gon's anger manifested as a Nen contract. <laughs> and it happened once, and then he lost his power. Please. <laughs> we don't, he lost his power for now until they find something. Yeah, it's gone. If, if, by the way, I, I'm making this promise now, okay? If Gon ever gets his power back, ever, you, I'm your slave for a whole day. I'll do anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, keep that in mind for when we meet each other in public oh yeah no it, it's yeah. never going to happen I, I am so confident that it will never happen both because it's not going to happen in the writing and because we're probably never going to get any more Hunter x Hunter chapters <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's, he's come to terms with it as a Hunter Hunter fan. oh yeah <laughs> listen the half a arc we got with Kurabika was really enjoyable <laughs> Good Hunter Hunter ended. Hunter Hunter ended with going with his dad. That that's what everyone says. It, it oh, they can the eat end. a fucking cock. You you, you never fuck. There's so much going on with Kurapika right now. It's so good. <laughs> I love people thinking that there's like nothing else left after Hunter Hunter. Oh I'm yeah, like, you know oh, the Corolo like Hisoka fight that was <laughs> built up for the entire series. You just thought that was never gonna happen, huh? Mm. <laughs> Idiots. Yo, people are fucking wild, dog. I you don't get to choose when shit ends. People did that with Bleach all the time. Yeah, you, for me, it ended with the final Eisen fight. Oh, yeah? All those pl- plot lines that never were finished. All those Bankais you never saw, really? You wanted to end there? Fucking idiots. <laughs> Yo, that's actually so funny. Anyway, this Sanji shit. Listen, I'm a Sanji boy, right? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> what is Sanji? Please. My guy, like he obviously, we know Sanji has that observation hockey on lock, like like that's his specialty. But the man is listening too deep, okay? <laughs> so, who is this? He's just hearing who? a woman get changed, I assume, or or like he's he's hearing some sexy times going down. I have no idea who it is, but like so, I just assume he's getting distracted. So, um, I do you see what I retweeted on Twitter about this about the scene? What is it? 
Uh, I can find it for you. Give me one second. It's not the Ivankov shit, is it? Because that's just debunked. No. Okay. Some people were like, it's Ivankov. There was Ivankov shit? Really? Yeah. A lot, there was a good chunk of the fandom that thought it was Ivankov. But, but how? Yeah, like, why would he why be would here? <laughs> why would he be here? Exactly. You know what? That's a reach. Uh, yeah, it was that's a hell of a reach. haven't heard in a long time. Grand that, Line that, Review, that, one, of the, one of the One Piece YouTubers did a whole, like, 12 minute video like just like this is retarded and here's why <laughs> <laughs> that that's crazy to me that that shit it's i'm just happy that you I'm were i was about to i was getting ready to have to fucking smack you down if you were gonna fucking pull that shit because it's it's everywhere bro oh my god but yeah no what did you is it is it the thing about it uh it's a reference to like kabuki play theater when they're when a man's undressing a woman or whatever yeah, 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 yeah. I saw that. So it's I, again. That. It probably is literally. It's probably just. It's a very strange choice for an end of a chapter cliffhanger, though. That's the weird thing. Like, is this go? Yeah. Is something gonna come of this, or is it just gonna be like a gag where he opens a thing, expecting to see some like hotness, and it's actually like a an old hack? I don't know. Like, what's gonna happen here? <laughs> I thought it was Black Maria. Some something. people think it's going to be Black Maria, but the last time we saw her, uh, I was told from a review, I don't remember which one, that she was on a totally different floor. Like, remember we saw her, like, playing the Shamison? Yeah. Let me see if I can find that floor, or that chapter, but, like, apparently she was on a totally different floor. Oh, okay, but who could it possibly be? Like, I don't, who's at the top right now? I don't know. Like, I, like unless he's hearing it from, like... Could, is it possible like, it's just a random fucking whammon, and he's just about to be distracted again because he's fucking Sanji? <laughs> Honestly, it's it's very it's very weird. It's it's very, such a weird fucking like you should have ended it with the law shit, not this. <laughs> yeah, that seems like a better ending chapter. Um, to find... I'm curious to see. Sorry, say say what you're saying. It, it, it is it is Sanji though, so you know how that is. But I, I'm just like okay, he hears naughty time going on. He's like, can't you hear from? So he, it's from the third floor. Yeah. Which is the same floor so, that, and that's so, that's that was something I was thinking about too when I was reading it. I was like, my dude, like at the moment, kid Eustace kid is running through that floor with like an apocalyptic level of, of metal. Just, <laughs> are you really? Who the fuck is having sex up there? Mm, you know what I'm saying? Interesting. Yeah, interesting. I, I, well, I'm curious. I'm. I'll... <laughs> That one I have to put on the shelf because I don't know. <laughs> That's very interesting. <laughs> Oda, a uh, very choice of ending a chapter for Okay, Hunter. I just found it. Black Maria is in the banquet hall inside the castle. So where is the banquet hall? It just says banquet hall inside the castle. So, you know, banquet hall, that means, yeah, yeah. So I don't think she, I think she's, hmm. I don't know. It It doesn't say that she's on any floor or anything, so... I went back to the chapter where she was playing the thing. Who knows? Also, why would who would she be undressing her and like why, like she was with, in a room with a bunch of other women playing like a a shamisen. Unless they're having like lezzy sex, but like I didn't get that vibe. Mhm. Cuz like mm-hmm. yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It, it's a very, I agree with you. Uh very it t- I I'm tilting my head. I'm like, hmm. huh. Okay. What what could possibly be happening like who, who who could be possibly mad lag enough to try to fuck and during, <laughs> during this <laughs> yeah it, it's one piece so you never know but <laughs> i but, uh, i just because like i love sanji so i'm just very like where are you leading this oda like wh- what's about to happen with sanji here <laughs> like what are you doing i'm just really nervous stop distracting my uh, man okay <laughs> mm. i don't know yeah i got nothing uh ranking my, my guy Rank your shit. Oh, rankings. Yeah, okay. Uh, this one, I'd give it an eight. Definitely eight. Uh, good stuff. A lot of great stuff. Um, Big Mom, interesting. Uh, uh, it feels like there's a lot of setup. I, I get, uh, honestly, maybe eight is too low. Hmm. But it's, mm, I'm going to give it I think the law shit is really interesting. You think eight is too low? 8.5 for the law shit. Yeah, I was thinking the same mm-hmm. for, mm, Wow, perfect. Think the same thing. Eight point five. I give it eight point five because it seems like a, there's a lot of build up this this chapter, and I really like it. I think this chapter is a lot of good setup. Yeah, it makes me. It really start. It's starting to feel like big reveals are coming, right? Like, 
because we have um, Devil Yamato's Devil Fruit, uh, Frankie Fight. Um, we see uh, and Frankie Sasaki makes so much sense too. They're both yeah. thick boys. Yeah, uh, law stuff setting up, uh, Big Mom stuff setting up, kids setting up, Kaido stuff setting up, and then this whatever the fuck Sanji's about to do set up. Like a lot of setup. Yeah. That really what I want to see, though, I want to see us start transitioning towards some Straw Hat final fights, okay? I need you to make room. I need you to make time, Oda, for long-form Straw Hat fights, please. I don't know if that's possible, but I need it. And if not in this arc, fine. But the next arc better be fucking Straw Hat-centric with, like, fucking five chapter fights for each of them. I don't give a fuck. You are doing this. I need it. Your ass is silent today. <laughs> nah, uh, I'm good. I was just distracted. That's my fault. But, All right, cool, cool. Uh, well, anyway, I'm hyped. Yeah. Uh, I'm loving One I'm Piece hyped. every fucking yeah. week. Ooh, your audio. Hello, come back. I'm right here. Uh, yeah, no, but you trust me, bro. You, literally, you want to like remember how you were saying if, like when it feels like I'm far away from the mic. That's what it sounded like to me. Oh uh, yeah, I'm, that's interesting. But I honestly, I, I really want to know what the fuck this, this thing's all about. Could it be a numbers trying to hit on like a fucking someone? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Doubt. Weird. Um, I don't know. I just, it's, I have zero theory weird. on it. Like, I really don't know. It's really fucking weird, or dog. I don't know so what it could be. Like, it, and because people are, I think one of the reasons people were thinking Ivankov. Well, there's two reasons. One is that apparently in the um the scanlation, which imagine fucking reading, like people still read that shit. Can you imagine? <laughs> Uh, bro, and people still it's uh, wow it's, yeah like, so, so in the scanlation <laughs> the laugh was translated like it was kind of similar to Ivankov's laugh but then the, the official type of shit? what the hee-haw the hee-haw no it was uh, well no the hee-haw isn't even really his laugh that's just a thing he says the, his laugh is a uh, new foo-foo Oh, oh, okay. And hee haws just like a, nut, a thing on top of that. He goes, hee haw! <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love you, <laughs> I, I, I forgot everyone has a unique laugh. Yeah, so so it was apparently similar to his laugh, but then of course you see Viz um, debunks that, clearly. And then. Nah, uh, nah. How do you say? How do you laugh like that? <laughs> like uh, I need the anime to help us with that. Like, bro, bro I, I always think I, Kuro Sensei's laugh and, in Assassin's Classroom is new foo foo foo. I get. I give props, right? One thing I love about Oda is that he gives unique laughs to everyone. Hundreds of characters. And, and what's funny is um, I love – I give props to the voice actors, English and uh, Japanese because how do you how do you go into work and your, your boss is like, oh, yeah, so you see this page? You don't have to laugh like that. Like, what the fuck? How do I laugh like that? <laughs> Good luck, bitch. <laughs> like, like, that's why the, I don't know if you've noticed the dub. I the dub doesn't even try that shit. The dub, unless it's a, unless it's mentioned in the unless like there's dialogue in the plot about them having a weird laugh, the dub just like has them laugh normally. Really? Oh, ugh, ugh. Yeah, it's a little weird. <laughs> um, then, Otherwise, uh, other than that, it's a good I, dub. I low key take like take that shit back. Then I only give credit to the Japanese voice actors because that's just blasphemy. I don't know. Maybe it's changed since. I've only seen the dub up to like. Water Seven Thriller Barkish, um, because I know that Zeha like Blackbeard does his Zeha ha, but like I, one of the big ones like like Arlong's laugh was like uh, she 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 or something like that, and oh. in in the dub it's just you know normal ha 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 yeah. Ha, ha, ha. yeah I, <laughs> I think even though I think even the Japanese uh not Japanese dub uh. Uh, in the sub too, he was like, "Ha ha!" ha. Uh, maybe I mean I just I know that like may, maybe that's an anime overall thing. Maybe they only started doing it later, but like because in the in the manga, Arlong's laugh I believe is like, S H I S H I S H I. Let me check it actually. Hold on, Arlong laugh. Uh, laughter style. Oh hell yeah, we got a whole ass fucking list. Oh okay, Arlong's is sha 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 ha ha ha. So it starts S H A and then ha ha ha. So sha ha ha. Yo, send that shit to me. That's definitely something I want to look at. Before okay, wait no, but before I do, I want to give me a character and I'll fucking tell you their laugh style. That's what we're doing for the last fucking like ten minutes of this video. <laughs> Actually, I know Blackbeard has Z ha ha ha. Um, G give me a character. Uh, okay, uh, do me um, Kaido's. I wonder what Kaido's is. Uh, oh, Kaido's, bro? Yeah, hell yeah. All right. 
uh, where's the K? K, 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 A, B, C, D. Where the fuck is his ass? Where is his ass? Ah. Oh, yeah. Kuro, Kaido says, Woro, ro, ro, ro. Woro. So it's W O R O R O R O. Woro, ro, ro, ro. Woro, ro, 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 ro. Woro, ro, ro, ro. Give me another one. <laughs> uh, let's see. Per- Peronas. Oh, oh, dude, I know, I know Perona's off the top of my fucking head. It's hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I love, Perona's one of my favorite side characters in the whole series. I fucking love her. <clears throat> hold on, yeah, H-O-R-O, H-O-R-O, H-O-R-O. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hers is one of the weirder ones. Uh, didn't, um, who, who had that weird laugh? Like, the, oh, fa la la Oh, are you shit. talking about Dara, she, 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 she? No, 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 no. Da, da, she, she, she. I love that shit. Um, no, but the the dub it did that laugh though. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. The dub does the laughs when it's like super important. But some of the like the side character, like because if I if I'm correct in this, in the Japanese, like even like minor characters will have weird laughs. I think the dub's just like fuck that shit <laughs> with the minor. Yeah, <laughs> the weird. Yeah, well, because I think, I mean, a lot of times minor characters, they give to, like, like rookie voice actors, you know? So it's like, maybe these rookie voice actors are like, what the fuck? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. I only trained, I did norm- I, I trained normal laughs. Um, fucking, mm. give me another fucking laugh, bro. I don't know. I remember the characters. Just list them off. <laughs> yeah, okay. That won't get old. Um... Oh, dude, guess who, all right, guess who fucking laughs like Senku? Because Senku laughs coo-coo-coo, yeah. right? Doesn't mm-hmm. Senku go coo-coo-coo? Am I, am I misremembering that? Yeah. Okay, Pero mm-hmm. fucking Sparrow does coo-coo-coo. Does he does Pero, 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 does he do that shit? No, he says Peroin, but, like, that's a thing, just much like, uh, you much like, hee-haw, it's just a thing he says. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Cue that That's one funny. guy that said you were a fucking dumbass for not noticing Gen's thing from Dr. Stone. <laughs> Gen's thing. Uh, that guy can, um... Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. He's, a, he's a reg, okay? <laughs> <laughs> he's a reg? He's a regular. And a great character from Maiden Abyss, but that's another thing. Um... <laughs> Give me one more character for a laugh style and we'll end this off. I'm just enjoying looking at this. I... <laughs> Um, let's, I'm trying to think of, does it, does me, does me, uh, not Mirko, uh, wrong series, sorry, um, does the Mihawk have a laugh? I don't, oh yeah, Dracula Mihawk is, it looks like wah, so it's like W-H, and then ha ha ha, so like wah ha ha ha. <laughs> yeah, I've never heard him laugh. When did, oh, he must have laughed like once, or maybe it was when Zoro was like, hey, train me. And... Did, there, is there like voice, like, Audio clips next to them? No, not in the... Here, I'll send you the page. Anyway, we should end this, but here's the page for you. Well, here, I'll send it to you once we're off the clip. But anyway, peace. Peace. Stop. (laughs)